Hey what's going on guys my name is Ravi and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial So in this video we'll be learning to add shadows to our text layer or to our logos in a very simple way So to start off I already have a sequence in place I have a background and a text layer added and I also have a YouTube logo here and we'll be adding shadows to these elements To do that I'll first go to the effects panel and type in drop shadow. So you have this drop shadow effect in the perspective folder of the video effects and I'll drag this onto my text layer. Once you do that, you can see that we have drop shadow effect added in the effect controls and now I'll increase the distance from 5 to around 25. So now you can see that the shadow has come out and now You have an option of changing the angle of the shadow. I can change the direction here by tweaking this value here. So you can set the angle of the light source. This looks fine. And now you have another option of changing the softness of the shadow. I recommend you to use this always so that the shadow is not sharp. I'll change this to around 35. This is fine. and you also have the option to increase the opacity of the shadow if you change this to 100 you can see that the intensity of the shadow is increased right another thing that you can do is you can add the shadow to the logo as well i'll simply copy paste this to the logo you can also tweak this values here i'll change the distance from 25 to around 50 but the shadow seems quite intense so i'll change the opacity to 50 and i'll further increase the distance a bit okay and i can also have the option of choosing only the shadow if i check this button shadow only you can see that only the shadow appears whereas your logo will now disappear and you can also change the color of the shadow i'll change this to red All right this is also fine I'll uncheck the shadow only and increase the softness way too much So now you have some sort of blurred shadow just behind your logo and you can use this in your projects I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram at vfxkairavi See you guys next time with another tutorial.